What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I got some big plans for today. Uh, I haven't really done too much around the base to be honest. I've been screwing around a lot in the nether. And today we are going to kill the uh, wither skeleton. Um, or the wither boss rather. And to kill the wither boss you're going to need to kill wither skeletons. Um, and get three of these wither skeleton skulls. So we are going to... I did that. Um, I, it took me, let's pull up my stats here, I'll get the bottom because it's W, Wither Skeletons, it took me 48 skeleton kills, um, so I just kind of flew around the, uh, the nether there, uh, let's see if I can actually, it's not going to show me, nether, I can't see the map from here though, um, flew around the nether until I found a, um, a fortress, and then these guys kind of just spawn randomly all over the place. You kill them. Um, they've got a like a 2% chance to drop the head. It took me 48 of them to get 3 of them. And I have a looting 3 sword. You want to make sure you have looting 3. And you're supposed to get it about 1 in every 20 with a looting 3 sword. So I did get a little bit lucky. Um, but at worst you, should, you might have to kill about 60 of them to get all 3 heads. With that being said, you guys can see I am running out way away from my base. You don't want to do it anywhere near anything you care about. Because this guy is very mean and blows things up. So we are going to go, um, I don't know where, maybe down in this mountain or something. We're going to try to get deep underground so he can't get up. Uh, if you do it close to the surface, he will get up in the air. And that's what you do not want. You guys can also see I brought some milk with me. I got milk that is what cures the uh, wither effect if you happen to get hit by one of his missiles. We're going to try not to get hit. That's the ideal. Um, let's see what we got here. This is a cave. Kind of small cave. Uh, I did bring torches. Alright. Get rid of this guy. Um, another thing you can do instead of a sharp five sword, you could also do a um, a smite five sword, which I thought about doing. I have one of my uh, villagers actually sells a smite five book, so it would be very easy for me to get it. Um, but I think this sword should be fine. It's it's, it's a pretty decent sword. So um, the other thing you're gonna want is a really good bow. Uh, you can see my bow here has power five, punch two, and breaking three, and flame. Flame isn't going to do anything, and the, the infinity obviously makes it so we don't have to carry a ton of arrows with us. Um, yeah, this should work. Let's go down in this cave down here. See if we can get close to bedrock here. That's what that's kind of what we want. There's some iron there. We'll probably take that with us. Uh, the other thing a lot of people do is they bring potions with them, potions of healing and stuff like that. I think we should be able to do it without the potions. I don't really have an elaborate potion setup built yet, and I didn't really want to invest the time in doing that and creating a bunch of potions and stuff like that. We are going to bypass that. We'll let them get to each other. The other thing is don't bring anything that you don't want to lose with you, because if you die, um, especially around the wither, he's blowing stuff up. If you hit a lava stream, say goodbye to all your gear. Not ideal. Um, so, I definitely don't bring your elytra with you. Don't bring anything that you can't um, replace. You know, I put my silk tuck pick away. I probably shouldn't have brought my shovel, but whatever. Like I said, I'm not too seriously concerned about it. I am going to get this iron, though. Let's go back up there and get that other ore of iron before I, uh, before I forget about it. Alright, this is a neat little cave. Lots of iron. But I have yet to set up my iron farm, so, uh. As of now, we still collect iron. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Alright, 
that looks good for now. Let's head down. Like I said, we're going to try to get as deep as possible as we can. Somewhere down by bedrock just so he can't escape. Oh my goodness. Well, it's a good thing I brought my shovel. Could have been very bad if I didn't have my shovel. So much iron in this cave. This is crazy. All right, there we go. We are finally getting kind of close to the bottom. Alright, we're at about Y10 here, <clears throat> and what I'm actually going to do is we're going to kind of dig a long tunnel here. Uh, I do kind of want to get away from that lava though. Go, go this way a little bit. Try to avoid lava, because the other thing is if you do manage to kill the skeleton, the wither boss when he's above water, then your nether star falls into lava, which is not ideal. There's a big lava lake there too. Go back this way. And then the reason you're going to make a long tunnel is it's actually going to prevent the, the wither boss from chasing you down and directly hitting you. And he can destroy the blocks above you, which is no problem, who cares. Um, but the main thing is you don't want him to be able to hit you. Um, that'll be that will allow us to be able to shoot arrows at him until he hits half health. At which point he becomes invulnerable to arrows. Um, let's dig this out a little bit. We'll just dig out a, like a three by three cube here, or because you know iron, gotta have that iron. Look at that I've got back in nine iron already. That's crazy. All right, so we're gonna build him right here. I think we'll throw a torch there. Not that it's gonna matter because he's gonna. I absolutely obliterate this uh, this cave here. Dig it out a little bit more here. So as he comes towards us and breaks blocks around us, we're gonna try to retreat back into this cave or this uh, this tunnel, not cave tunnel that we're building here. Um, and then how we build him is, and I also brought a bucket of water as you guys can see, just in case it gets a little wild. Should need the shovel. We'll pop that there. Uh, but we are going to make a T-shape out of uh, soul sand here, and then once you pop the third head on, it becomes a wither. Now, at this point right here, he is invulnerable. We're going to back up a little bit. Starts flashing like that. That's when he should become... There we go. Now, he can target non-U mobs, so if there's other mobs that are sitting right here... Oh my god, I can't even hit him. There we go. There we go. That made him mad. See, he's slowly tunneling towards us. We're just going to back up a little bit. Alright, and now he's going to be invulnerable to our arrow. So now we can hit him with our sword. Oh my goodness. Backing up. Backing up. And there we go, we got him. So from him he drops this nether star. Beautiful, look at that. And we got our uh, we got our achievement for spawning. You can see he did a quite a number on uh, <laughs> on our cave here. Pop that up there. Oh he found us some diamonds too, look at that. Now that's what I call a reward for killing this guy. Throw this down, we'll throw a bunch of cobble in it. Grab all this cobble. Yeah, that's a really good way to kill the, the wither without it being too complicated. You can see, I don't even think he hit me once. Um, if he did, he didn't uh, give me the wither effect, so I didn't even have to use my milk buckets, which is good. Throw, throw the rest of this junk in here. And then there's our nether star, so beautiful. Let's mine this really quick. 
All right, beautiful. And that's it for that. So um, I will see you guys when I'm back at the base. All right, guys, welcome back. We are back in the base here. You can see we got our nether star. We also have this iron. We'll throw this iron here in the auto smelter and let this thing go to town. Um, what we are going to need is um, lots of emeralds. This is what we're going to make the base of our beacon out of. And then I believe it's diamonds, obsidian, and glass to make the beacon, if I recall correctly. I didn't actually look it up. I probably should have done that. Um, yep, and yep. <clears throat> so there we go. Obsidian, no diamonds, just glass, and then another star. I thought it was diamonds. Uh, you know, it looks like it would have a diamond in there, but I guess not. There we go. So we have a beacon. I do know you need a diamond. Well, let's place it down first before I start talking on it. But you do need, um, I believe, three different uh, materials to change what the beacon does. Um, so we'll pop this guy down, and you can see here, there we go. You need an emerald, diamond, gold, or that to change it. So if you want to go from this to this or whatever, um, you can do that. So we have to figure out where we want to place this guy. Break this thing. Makes a cool noise. Um, Yeah, I think this this should be enough. Uh, let's decide where we want to put this. Um, the range is pretty good, but I want to put it on the kind of the center of the. Let me put it on the roof. Yeah, where do we put it up here? I and mean, I believe it's a five by five. That. And you have to make it solid. Okay, there we go. So uh, we see we got that there. I think we actually have to add one more layer. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's only got those two. Um, you see we can add haste, jump boost, resistance, or speed. We'll add haste. And you can throw anything in here. Let's not use a diamond because we've got a ton of emeralds we can use. So we use an emerald to change it. And add haste. There you go. You guys can see we have the haste effect now. This allows us to mine ridiculously fast. Um, I believe we need... I think we can. I think we have to add one more layer. So let's try to add one more layer to it. That would be. Okay, there we go. We got that last layer on there. Let's see. Yep, now we can have the strength if we wanted to. We're just going to stick with haste for now because, um, like you guys can see it, you mine super fast with haste. And this is with an efficiency 5 pick. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty good. That's basically going to be it for this episode. This is all I kind of really wanted to do is I finally got my beacon. We are going to turn this beacon into a, a beacon of mass block destruction um you can see on my map up here these green cubes these are actually slime chunks that's what that means um so i was planning on not dropping my pick on the ground but i was planning on um this one over here maybe over to it really quick 
This one right here. I was thinking about turning this one into a slime farm. Um, that's something I've been wanting to do. But you need to clear out a lot of blocks kind of down at the bedrock level. Um, to make a slime farm. Um, so I wanted to get the beacon first. So now we have the beacon. Um, and you can see, we, actually around the base we should probably, just for now, um, we should probably have speed buff. I feel like that'd be more useful running around the base. And then we can rip it down. Um, ideally, I'd like to farm another one just so we can have one at the base always. And then we need, you know, we can have one that we can take with us. Uh, let's pop this guy to speed boot. That. Distance 2, speed 2, strength 2. Let's go speed. Yeah, you can see how much quicker you run. Run pretty quick with that with that beacon on. And like I said, it's got a pretty good range on it as well. You can see we're still if we're out here. Even like out here, we're still within range of the beacon and we still get our, our boost. Alright guys, real quick, I just wanted to make note, I made an error when I was originally recording uh, the first part of this video with the beacon. You need four layers of any block, emerald, diamond, iron, or gold, doesn't matter. And you don't want haste, you want haste too. And you want haste too, makes your uh, mining speed incredibly efficient, a lot more efficient than just haste one. And you can just destroy blocks. Um, you see this a lot faster than what I showed you guys the first time. The same exact pickaxe. Um, we just have that haste two mod. You can see there, um, and it's almost like the equivalent of like nether rack or like the speed of sand with a shovel. Um, super crazy way to get a ton of materials. Which, as you guys can see, that's what I've been doing down here. And we light this up, some farms. Uh, just getting a ton and ton of blocks. Um, I've been messing around with a design. Uh, we're going to put a wall around our base, and I've been messing around with a wall in creative. You guys can see here, I've got a ton of blocks in here that I'm saving up for uh, to build that wall with. So that's it, guys. Thanks. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Show you guys how to beat the wither, how to defeat him, and uh, what to do with your beacon and stuff. It's uh, definitely useful. It's kind of an end game item that you're going to want to get. Uh, it's not game breaking or anything, but it does definitely help you out when you're uh, um, mining out large areas and stuff like that. So, so check it out. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos. Check out some of my other tutorial videos. I uh, I just put up a what did I just put up an auto smelting tutorial because I was watching guys on Twitch that aren't using auto smelters for some reason. So uh, yeah, definitely check those out, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Time. I can